Hello and welcome to another Toon Boom Studio tutorial from TuckCast.com. I'm Daniel Allen from YouTube.com forward slash Dan on a bouncy castle. Okay, so today we are going to be creating a lens flare inside of Toon Boom. So I've got my scene. I just did a quick sorry, I just did a quick simple drawing of a road heading to Doomsville. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add a new drawing element, add new element, call it lens flare, it's doing it lens flare 2 because I created one earlier. So create a new lens flare. Now what we're going to do, you'll have the brush tool showing, grab the ellipse tool and then come over to here and we're going to press new palette. Double click on the layer click on the S, grab our bar, drag it inwards to about here that way the colors are bright and they're not too oversaturated and we're going to grab like a yellowy orange color about there click on the gradient button radial and drag this bar to about the middle this black one, click on this tab here, do the same sort of thing, but grab a more orangey colour. Okay, and then we're going to click here to add a new tab, a new colour to our gradient, drag it to the other side, and there we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to decrease the opacity of this, of this colour to zero and we're going to click on the other one and do the same thing now we're going to bring them in a bit so if you look if you look at the gradient we're creating it's like a rip not to move the central one over so that the whole circle can be seen within our scene within our gradient like that and also you want to decrease the the opacity of the alpha channel of our central colour because otherwise in the centre it's going to appear like a block and we don't want that we want it to be almost like a subtle effect because if you ever do a lens flare it just looks weird press on the X that looks good and now with our ellipse tool we're going to draw a circle okay so remember where you put the circle and let go. Now we're going to grab our fill bucket tool and click roughly in the middle of the circle. I know I created the circle pretty central so I'm going to click in the middle. Hmm. Now what's happened is that unfortunately it doesn't fade off before the edge of the circle so we can change this by coming into our colour, double click on it and just, and just bring it in. We can see the changes are applying until it looks good you might want to release that one and I definitely want to bring down the opacity of our so in a bit somewhere around there so I've got that just 75 75 looks good close that down and now what you can do is grab this layer control C command C on the Mac and control V and then paste it about four or five times you want to have one 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 of them on the sun on the same side of the sun you want to have another one by the corner that's going to be pretty big if you hold down shift you can do a you can do a, a scale that's in scale in, co in correct proportions and scale them to some various sizes and make like a chain if you've seen Howard's tutorial on creating that apple design then he does a similar thing with circles inside a photoshop mm. 
Let's see this. Oh dear. We lost our small one. Go our small one. C control C. Unwanted. Command C on the Mac. Control V to paste it. And we're going to put two circles overlapping each other there. It just creates a very nice effect. And then we actually probably need one more, so I'm going to paste another one. And scale it up, I think. It'll look good. Come out of drawing view. Oh, there you go. You got a nice little simple lens flare. It's not very complicated, and it just adds an extra something to your scene. You know, say say you're entering into like a cartoon competition, and someone's drawn a row going to Doomsville, and then it turns out that you've done the exact same thing. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna draw a lens flare and. And the judges are going to say, wow, you know what, that that guy's gone the extra mile and we're going to give it to him because he has done a lens flare inside a tomb room. Well, thanks for watching. Use it, try it out in your own work. Obviously, I'm sure you've got a better scene to work with, but what do you know? Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. I'm Daniel Allen from tuckcast.com. See you soon.